There's a new chapter for a New Mexico pilot who nearly died on the first day of Balloon Fiesta last year. Doug Lenberg landed safely while having a heart attack. Now he's trying to teach others how to prepare. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Alex, we first shared Lenberg's story here on News 13 in October. Now he's made a near full recovery and says everyone can learn something from his experience. <laughs> to be telling his story to a crowd of balloon pilots is something Doug Lenberg didn't always expect. Last year's opening day of Balloon Fiesta was nearly Doug's last time flying. I had massive, massive chest pains. My uh, cardiologist referred to it as the Widowmaker. With three passengers on board his balloon, Lenberg suffered a massive heart attack in midair. They said, God, please don't let me kill anybody today. His so, story was the topic safety. of a balloon pilot safety Russia seminar in Albuquerque team. today. Lenberg was the only person on board with any piloting experience. He couldn't move his left arm and was heading for trouble. And I'm trying to get away from Paseo del Norte power lines. <laughs> Doug's balloon ended up landing here, right in the middle of the Calvary Church parking lot near Jefferson and Osuna. He missed the power lines instead, only hitting a tree. He says what got him through it all was sticking with the plan he came up with years ago. I would tell him, number one, to believe in God, and number two, believe in your training. That's what we've been trained to do. We're professionals. Pilots also got a crash course from PNM about what to do if they ever hit a power line. So we don't want you to ever assume anything other than the line is energized all the time. As someone who's nearly faced a major crash, Doug says the training is invaluable. Just believe that you can do it. And it was, it's, it's a little tough, but you can believe and you can do it. Now there's a lesson for passengers as well to listen to their pilots. Just seconds after Lenberg landed his balloon, that's when he told everyone what was going on and he passed out almost instantly. He credits his three riders for keeping the balloon on the ground while his chase crew rushed to the scene. Alex, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Lenberg is hoping to fly again soon. He says next month doctors will check his heart again. If he gets the go-ahead from them, he could be back flying by the start of May.